Alright, so I guess now we are fighting Leon for realsies. At last, the final match. Challenge Jake. A talking donkey. Alright. Well, that was super cool. I don't care what anyone says about this game now, I love it. That whole battle just... Whatever's bad about the story in this game, because, I mean, you know, it did get a bit weird in the middle, it was just kind of dull. That was the, probably my favourite moment in any Pokemon game. Except maybe, like, the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon had some really cool boss fights. But, yeah, I won't say because it's spoilers, but there was definitely some super cool boss fights in those games. Okay. Everyone's cheering for me. I'm not cheering for Leon anymore. This is the final match against the champion, the championship match. Are you ready to face Leon? Yes. I mean, it's going to be easy. We have a legendary now, so... When I bet we get the Gigantamax form as well. Everyone's cheering for me because I have Eternatus. That's quite interesting though, because we got Eternatus before we even got Zacian. Alright. We're finally here, this is a final battle. My matches are always sold out, but this... I've never seen a crowd this wild. Everyone knows what you did for us this week, Jake. They know you're the one who caught Eternatus and saved the future of the Gala region. A real hero who's battled alongside the legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta. I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. Oh, and you've even added Eternatus to your pie. The greatest challenger along with the po most powerful Pokemon, is that it? Now you're really getting me excited. Come on Jake, let's make this the final match that will go down in Gala's history. No, a match that will change Gala forever. We're going to have an absolutely champion time. Alright. Let's do it. It's probably going to be easy. Okay, let's go. We challenged by champion Leon. Aegis Slash. Oh look, he's lost his cloak. It's one of those duties of the champion to get the crowd fired up. This is so cool. It's like the uh, it's the Pokemon Sword. And it's the uh, whole theme. Oh no! Use protect. Watch him do that twice in a row, though. Oh, not effective. Whoops. Stance change. Flash cannon. That's steel, I think. Alright, that is not too good. We need to U-turn out of here, else we're gonna die. We should switch. That's a steel type, so let's switch. Oh, we don't have bear tick anymore. Steel can't hit Shedinja, so let's switch to him. He's going to use Flash Cannon again, but he's going to miss. Oh no, what? Damn it! Aiming for super effective hits is a surefire way to claim victory. Oh actually, he is kind of high level, so maybe this is supposed to be harder. But we can still do it, I'm sure we'll still win. Let's use Swagger. Does he have five or six Pokemon? Haha. <laughs> Look how much damage he did to himself. Oh my god, he has six. 
Okay, we we attack first. Let's do false surrender. Of course he would. We should have swaggered. I knew he'd do that. Oh well, we can swagger him twice. Oh, we don't need to. He must he must be ghost and steel. And it was a crit. A critical hit. Ha, pretty good challenger. Alright. Grim Snarl and Rillaboom leveled up. It's Haxorus. Hmm. Is Fairy strong against Dragon? I have no idea. But let's use Grim um, Swagger anyway. Okay, let's go. Mold Breaker. Let's use Swagger. Oh no. Damn it. Should have saw that coming. So he has a lot of steel types. Um, let's use... Okay, we may as well just kill him with Dynamax Cannon. Look how small I am. Oh my god. I'm a mini-me. Okay. Target is attacked with a shockwave. We should probably save the other one for later. Alright, this should kill him. Yeah, it's gonna be easy just sweeping him with this guy. Seismitoad. Um that's ground. What is it? Ground and something. Rillaboom can do drum beating. Hopefully ground and water because that would be perfect. Seismitoad. Level 64. Oh my god. Drum beating. Let's go. Good. One hit kill. Barascuda leveled up. Cinderace. That must be the score bunny evolution. And that is super cool. Alright. Rillaboom is not going to fight him because that would be suicide. So let's liquidize him. Oh wow. I think I'll probably pick Score Bunny on my second playthrough. Oh no, he's probably faster. Acrobatics. Please don't kill, please don't kill. Good. Okay, good. So I can kill him because this always hits first. Phew, that was almost close. It was actually not close at all, but, <laughs> you know. Toxtra's that he leveled up. Dragapult? Doesn't he have a Charizard? Or is this is only his fifth? I guess it's only his fifth, isn't it? Let's use Aqua Jet and hope he flinches. He should flinch. That's the whole point of... I gave him an item that makes the opponent flinch, but he's never made him flinch yet. Oh well. Okay, let's use Dragon Pulse. I think that is probably a Dragon type. Because it's, dra it's called Dragapult. Um, let's do Dynamax Cannon. Oh no, this might kill me. No, it didn't. Good. No! Boom. Good. And now, if I die, I can just... You know, I can just use a Max Revive. So he's going to use Charizard. No, I will not switch out my Pokémon. 
I just hope the Charizard doesn't hit him. I'm not finished having a champion time here. He's gonna Gigamax him. What does Cross Poison do? Let's use Dynamax Cannon and just hope Charizard doesn't kill me. I wonder what... I bet this looks really cool. I think I've seen it on Instagram, but I, I quickly looked away. So I think it's just a giant, giant dragon. Yeah. Looks super... really, really cool. It's cooler than... actually... I kind of prefer its Mega Evolutions, but you know... Max Airstream. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. And it killed me. Oh well. Don't get caught up on a critical hit. Focus on what you're gonna do next. Damn. Who have I got left? Toxtricity. I'm gonna... I don't think I'll survive the hit, so I'm going to use a full re uh, max revive on Eternatus. Yeah, it's just going to kill me. Or not, we got lucky. So maybe I should be cheeky and do another Max Revive, just to be extra safe that I'm going to win. So I hate to say it, Toxtricity, but there's no way you're going to do anything useful. So let's Max Revive Barascuda. That's the only other guy I can think that might be even useful. This is going to kill me. But then, I think this is his Dynamax done. So let's switch to Eternatus, because we can hopefully tank a hit. And use Dynamax Cannon. Alright. Oh no, he's gone back down, that's a shame. Okay, let's do Dynamax Cannon anyway. Alright, let's go. Look at that, that is such a cool move. We do Dynamax Cannon again. Or, do I get Gigamax? Oh, I can, anyway. Can this guy not... Dynam... I don't get it. Oh well, let's just do this again. We didn't even need to Dynamax. Oh, I clinched. Oh well. This is not gonna go well. Okay, Charizard is dead now. And that's the ch I'm champion now. We did it. That was a really fun fight. Mostly because I had the turn to us, but still. We did it. Oh, he's so mad. But he's smiling. My time as champion is over. But well, what a champion time it's been. Thank you for the greatest battle I've ever had. Yes, we did it. Wonder if this is the end of the story. Why is it all dark? Um Okay, I'll go worry. <laughs> Imagine if it crashed. It's a cutscene. Congratulations, Jake. 
You've beat even the unbeatable champion, making you the new champion of the region. You've become a first-rate trainer, alright? I offer you my heartfelt congratulations. And now that you've grown so strong, perhaps it's time I started looking ahead myself. It's time we adults started working on improving the here and now, for the sake of all that's to come. And you, Jake, what you ought to do now is... Believe in yourself and your partner Pokemon, and keep on blasting ahead, in order to create the bright future we all hope to see. People of Gala, here you have it, a new legend born right before your eyes. Your champion, Jake. <laughs> I bet you can't wait to see what kind of future a kid with this kind of strength might bring about. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what he can do. This is so cool. And that, I guess that's the story complete. This has been so fun. It's such a good game. I really love this game. Well look, names that aren't Japanese. Okay, here were the Japanese names again. Oh look, that must be the, uh, did you see the guy who's blue? That must be my other form, if I evolved him. <laughs> What's going on? Are we, are we a band? I think we're a band right now. I'm the drummer, there's two guitarists and a vocalist. That is so cool. It's so cool that it had such strong music themes with this game as well, because it's British. It's good to be recognised. It really is, especially by Pokemon. Like, I'm so happy that it was set in Britain. It's so cool. Uh, I don't really know what else to say, this game has just been amazing so far. And now we're in the end game. So yeah, thanks for watching if you did watch. I don't think many people are going to watch this Let's Play, but... If you did, thanks a lot. I had so much fun with this story. And I'm going to keep making videos as well for like guides and all that. So yeah. I guess I'll let the credits play out. And there's probably an after credits sequence or something like that that we'll have a look at. And then we'll end the playthrough. I wonder if I can skip it. No, I'm not going to skip it. I'm going to read everyone's name. Even though there's no way I remember them. Well, look, sound, Toby Fox. Toby Fox has been doing the sound. Nice. That's the guy who made Undertale, if you didn't know, and all the Undertale music. He should have been doing the music, though. It didn't, like he was, didn't look like he was credited for music. Because I guess they had him on Towns instead. Model production, not many people. <laughs> Don't even mention it. <laughs> Technical support, server development, English localization. One English guy on there, Brian. Eng I didn't read those. European localizations. I guess Brian was doing all the work for the British team. No, I'm just kidding. Of course, the Japanese people would. Chinese localization. Yeah, there's all... So many people go into making these games. Look. Debug, Mario Club Co. You get some interesting, like, company names. Poll to Win UK, London Studio. Pikachu Voice, Ikui Otani. She is Pikachu, I think, in everything. Character modelling. Lots of people go into the character models, damn. Character motion. Special thanks. Look what his names. Junichi Masuda. Tetsuya Watanabe, Satoshi. Oh, 
Oh, look at all these symbols. <laughs> all the Pokemon companies. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> the end. What a great game. That was so good. And now I guess we go back to our own house in Postwick. Presented by Game Freak. Oh, never mind. There's the opening. Now when we start, I think we probably... As per usual for Pokemon games, we're going to be back in our old hut. Oh! What's going on there? Yeah, back in our old house. Amazing. Congratulations, champion. Here, I've got a little summit for you, a celebration. A Master Ball! The best Pokeball with, all, with the ultimate level of performance. Without it, with it, you will catch any wild Pokemon without fail. Professor Magnolia, why you didn't have to come all this way? After everything Jake has achieved, it's really the least I could do. The wishing stars that make Dynamax impossible are part of Eternatus. Uh, when Eternatus was awakened, Dynamax energy flooded the entire region. Because of that, Dynamax Pokemon were popping up all over, causing trouble across all of Gala. But Jake and his friends came to our rescue. The Dynamax phenomenon has long been an important part of Galarian culture. I hope everyone will use the power of Dynamax incorrectly in the days to come. So young Jake, please do what you believe is best. I will. Poor Professor Magnolia. It seems she's quite bothered by the chairman's actions since she helped carry out so much of the researching into Dynamax for him. Okay, I think... We're all done. Maybe Hop will speak to us outside. Alright, now we're in the post game. So yeah, thanks for watching. I will be keep making Pokemon videos. I'll probably make a whole bunch of guides and everything like that. And shiny hunting in the future. Definitely not done with this game yet. Haven't even got Zacian. Anyway, that's it for the playthrough. Thanks for watching.